I'll admit that when I first used Picoscope 7, I didn't like it at all. But after using it in anger, I've actually grown to love it. So in this video, we're going to plug in the Picoscope 2204A, fire up Pico 7, and check out some of my favourite things about the new software. But first of all, if you want to avoid all the stress and fast track to being a competent Picoscope user, come and check out our low cost mini course. This Picoscope 7 training will help you quickly get up to speed with the new software. We've got multiple mini lessons that we're going to keep up to date as Picoscope grows. And if English isn't your native language, we also translate into 13 different languages. You can find out more in the link below. So Picoscope 7 Automotive has been out for some time now for any of you automotive users. They've also released the non-automotive version so you Picoscope 2204A users can also take advantage of the new software. So Picoscope 6 is actually on its last version now and will be no longer supported from 2022. They're actually moving the automotive waveform library into Pico 7, so it's probably best now that we get used to it. So there are a few different versions available. Um, for automotive users, if you head over to picoauto.com, we've got the stable version which is uh, has been updated and is suitable for use in the workshop. Uh, it probably means it doesn't crash as much. And then we've got the early access version which I've been using. It has the most up-to-date features but might carry some bugs. If you're a 2204A user or any other non-automotive Pico scope go over to picotech.com and from there you can go to the downloads tab and pick up the pico 7 download site so there's only an early access version for the non-automotive uh, users and we're going to take a look at that today so before we carry on i just want to take a little trip down memory lane because if your first experience with with pico scope 6 was anything like mine you opened it up and probably just a little bit overwhelmed of where to start you know um it wasn't the most user-friendly software in the world and I think I just remember asking someone to help me show me where the time voltage and trigger is and I'll just use those features I'll, I'll get by however after time and exploring all these different menus and settings I actually learned that this software is one of the most powerful diagnostic tools that anyone can have however most of this power was hidden away in this Windows XP style window at the top where most people probably never ventured so we've got normal Picoscope 7 open here and I've got the Picoscope 2204A connected up to this basic pulse width modulated signal and straight away we can see that we've got a much cleaner interface and um, one of the main things that Picoscope say is that this um, software has now been optimized for touchscreen so the buttons are much larger and much easier to use for uh, touchscreen use the interface is also much simpler there are less options on the screen if we think go back going back to Picoscope 6 if you think about all these different buttons that are uh, on the screen here you know Picoscope 7 is is a much simpler cleaner display and if you take me back all those years to when I was first introduced to Picoscope I'd have chosen this software any day so one of the things that you don't get anymore is the right click feature so if you right click nothing happens if you remember in Picoscope 6 you could right click and you'll get a menu up where you could actually uh, perform different features and functions what we have now is actually like a menu within menu feature so if we open up the voltage uh, adjustment menu here we can see that we've actually got four different menus here where you know some of these settings would have been spread all over Picoscope 6. They've all now been put into like one area where it's the most logical place for them to go. So let's take a look at some of my favorite features of Picoscope 7. So uh, one of the first ones which is really good, inside the channel menu on uh, display, you can actually rename the channel to whatever you want. Now, um, that could be uh, really cool for things like um, when you're doing pulse sensors or doing multiple signals that are very similar. It would just be really good to, at a glance, check over and see which um, channel was connected to which signal. Something else I really like is that the trigger, so when you've got the trigger set, if you move it, the zero line moves with the trigger. In Picoscope 6, that wasn't the case. So when you moved it, although the zero line moved with the trigger, the grid lines didn't. So in Pico 7, the grid lines move with, with the trigger. Another great feature is the quick access keys on the side. So you don't have to go into a separate menu to access things like math channels and serial decoding. You can even go in here and then hit the star buttons to actually customize your menu and add the icons that you use most to uh, this quick access bar on the side. 
What would be good is if we could actually click and drag and move them around so that you could have the ones you use most in the place where you need it. So something else I've been told we can do, uh, I've not actually seen this yet, but apparently you can change the voltage when you've stopped the oscilloscope. So yes, you can. I imagine it's just uh, kind of changing the scaling there. And something else that's pretty cool, especially for workshop use, is the full screen view. So hit the full screen view and then you just get the full page showing you the oscilloscope display. So there's another feature that a lot of people have really been getting uh, kind of quite excited about, and that's the uh, feature where you can turn the display into a dark mode. Now, I don't know what you think about it, but it's not really my thing you know maybe some people are into having the, the black display and um, i think for some things i do like it however i'm not quite sure about uh, my oscilloscope display so it's quite easy to change back there as well in that settings and preferences menu so there's loads to be explored in this new software as i said i actually quite like it um, you're going to be seeing me using this in my videos from now on. I don't think I'm going to go back to PicoScope 6, especially because they're not supporting PicoScope uh, 6 anymore. Um, and if you really want to get up to speed fast, then go and check out that training. Uh, it's lifetime access, free updates, and a little bit of a taster to what we're doing inside Mechanic Mindset.